Hi, you're watching Yoga with AJ and today we're going to do a seated forward bend called Janu Shirshasana or head to knee pose. A few precautions, if you have a medical condition like asthma, only practice under guided supervision. And if you're suffering from diarrhea, avoid this pose as it will only make you more uncomfortable. So let's connect to ourselves and get started with Janu Shirshasana. Bend your left knee very gently and take it out towards the side turning out from the hip. Now if you can, you can draw the foot all the way into the root of the thigh and take the leg out to about 90 degrees. If this doesn't happen, you feel uncomfortable in your knee or your back, you can take the foot further down the leg. So if you have very tight hamstrings and you find your knee bends a lot and it's difficult for you to fold forward, you can use any belt or a towel, something that gives resistance against the pads of the feet right under the toes. I'm using a TheraBand, you can use a yoga belt or even a belt that you wear at home. So this one has a little bit of stretch, it is elastic. Make sure that you're extending your back, which means you're drawing up instead of curving already. Inhale, stretch up. As you exhale, allow your elbows to bend softly and lean gently forward. Think of going forward rather than down. This is the head to knee pose, but we want to go into it softly without straining the lower back. So extend, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders and the neck, relax the elbows and stretch forward. When you're ready to come up, inhale. Come out of the pose. And try the same thing on the other side. Relax the leg, bring it back. So let's try the final pose. Show that to you on the other leg. Draw the right leg in. Stretch the left leg out, the other leg out. Draw the toes in firmly. Inhale and you want to extend your back. So you are folding from the hip joint, not through the back. You want to extend the back as you inhale. As you exhale, fold forward and come wherever you feel comfortable. If you are able to and you can hold on to the big toe, take the first two fingers and make a ring around the big toe with your thumb. Inhale again. Press the shoulders down the back, extending or growing long in the back. As you exhale, bring the sternum, the breastbone, down towards your thigh. And allow your neck to relax completely. So we're going to stay there for three to five deep breaths, trying to keep the exhalation a little longer than the inhalation. Keep the elbows soft, shoulders relaxed. Inhale to come up again, coming up all the way and relaxing both the legs. If you felt a deep stretch, give it a little shake, relax, cross the knees. Inhale to stretch up, extending your back, doing the opposite. You can bring your hands behind you, interlock the fingers if you like. As you exhale, round and relax. So that was Janu Shirshasana for you, head to knee pose. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to share and stay connected to yourself.